definitions. Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555, my Phoenicians. Today, we are going to do Divine Masculine and the Comic Raid. Yes, baby. I've got two of my new friends gifted to be gifted to me by oh mommy mommy do your thing the 22s jez and bell <coughs> see they're trying to block me already but i will not miss that revelations 220 Yes, my Phoenicians, we are going to go for a little, a little trot down Carmidia. See how those mouth-breathing idiots are doing. Yes, baby, as I sips my mocha. Also, my Phoenician, we are not going to be doing the planetary energies today. Right? Them don't need no help. We, them doing it all on their own. They're doing well. Let's bring the camera down so we can... I know my angles are diabolical. I know. But I'm trying. You don't have my production team yet. But everything is just a matter of time, eh? First things first, let me get the big boys, the big guns off the table and get to the dab of things. Pinkies up. All right. Get my eyes on. Okay. Before we go into the Read My Phoenician, I'm going to pull one of my Making Magic Oracle cards because I'm going to set my intention for you today, my Phoenicians. What I intend for you. What I want to see in your shizne today. I want to manifest for you. That is my intention. Goodness gracious, the divine said two cards. A triple moon. Okay. Embracing all aspects of yourself. The divine and the earthly. What did I say? Prototype. Come on. Yes. And pentakiale me se. Pentakiale you se. This is what I wish for you. I intend for my Phoenicians to reap the benefits of both these Oracle cards today. You see, the thing is, okay, I'm going to read out what it says on the triple moon. It says, and I want you to repeat it because you will be reading this at different times. Some of you will be reading this together. We are going to intensify this energy. Hear me? We're doing this shizne. Pinkies up. The first one says triple moon. Embracing all aspects of yourself. You will put in myself. So we're going to change it around. Embracing all aspects of myself. The divine and the earthly. The next card says prosperity. A prosperous business with riches and success. Pentecale me se. Pentecale you se. Yes, be a bit. And on that note, I'm going to light my candle to solidify my intention, my purest intention for you, so that you can tap into your inner fears, the unknown, your unexpressed potential, so that you can remain Easter Island with these chicken heads, these prackalas and prackalicious. This is, this is my intention for you, my Phoenician. I wish this for you. And I lit my candle with intention. Prototype. I hope you're meeting me halfway. Are you doing that work? Do I have to play the Black Eyed Peas again? Do I? Six, as I sip my mock up. Stand. One of my um, subscribers, I believe it's your mama. Do you, mommy? Yo, 
get me, let me get it to right, because we're still in the shadow of Mercury retrograde, don't you know? Um, yo, mommy, do your thing, is gifting me with card stands, and I appreciate her. As she give me Jezebel, you know, yes, baby, so I can shake it up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get them their cards out. What's the energies around the divine? Oh, I'll go with this one. Yes, baby, it need a good knock. It need a good knock. Mm -hmm. Okay, energies around the divine masculine. He about ready to rip off that plaster. There's a situation that he just cannot accept. Last time we was looking in, she was shaving off the battery acid and whipping up another batch. <laughs> Divine masculine wanted to be on his own man. He don't want no more of that. That um, what she say was um, coriander. It's not coriander, babe. It's battery acid. About time you developed an eating disorder, sir. Yes, you want to isolate yourself. You want to be alone. You don't want to put up any more resistance or strength to the facade. The one that was built in the clouds. You let that karmic take you by the hand. By like a child, you was pussy whipped by a mattress back. <laughs> Yes, we have a knock it hard. All right, energy for the karmic. She's not grateful for nothing that she's got. Mm -hmm. We even have a pregnancy here. She, this particular karmic was unable to conceive. Was unable to tie the bow. That's why she's in there. Whip it up another bunch. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. What's the any? Oh gosh! The general energy. There's no comfort comfortability around anybody. Mm -hmm. The two of them are acting as law number three of the forty-eight laws of power. They are being covert. They are wearing maskies. Is that a word? Maskies? Well, am I wear it? Pinkies up. Yes, man, and that is what they're wearing. Not grateful. He wants to break out of the facade. He was like, she was like, take my hand. Come with me, baby, to love land. Let me show you how sweet it can be. Being in comedy, y'all. Wow. He found that it was very uncomfortable there. He feels extremely, extremely smothered and watched. Watched by a mouth breather. Mm -hmm. Somebody who drew them in with vanity and pillars of salt. Okay. I don't know if I'll be using the whistle. If, the, if, if. Baby, if them dear bring divine feminine into this read, I will be using all of the cautionary sounds and visuals. Let's get back to business. Hope you can see well, because as a production team of one at the moment, but the potential is there. There, I said it. As I sips me more cars. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the energy for divine masculine. Oh, look what he got. He, these are the after tarot. Divine masculine thought this was his ace of pentacle. Divine masculine, right? Thought that um, this was going to be his Shangri-La. 
he buried himself deeply, deeply, feet first into the mire, and was gifted with what? A cockroach, straight off the dung beetle, that shone in the sunlight, wrapped in El Louis V. Yes, baby, he was tricked and bamboozled. Mm-hmm. He's feeling extremely stressed out about the Pentacali at the moment in time. Very stressed out. Too stressed to be blessed. Bebe, the first card <laughs> in the how in the energy around him is that he's stuck. Right? We have the nine of Pentacali. This is the Brocitus. Law 10 of the 48 laws of power card in the reverse. Bebe. Bra. Sistrine for Nushan. Yes! This is what's going up in that hemisphere. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of jealousy and envy. There's a lot of financial setbacks. Feelings of being struck. Mm-hmm. The Nine of Pentacali is represented by Vigo as well as um, Vigo. <laughs> Virgo as well as uh, Venus energy. I mixed it up. Mercury retrograde. You don't need to release my tongue. I need to talk in tongues when I'm talking about these two. Yes, baby. He's stuck. Stuck. And Nine is about... Um, how can I put it? Wanting to come out of isolation because Nine is represented by the Hermit card. As well as the moon. So he's stuck in a situation where there's a lot of subterfuge and love. Mm -hmm. What's in Divine Masculine's thoughts at this moment in time? Two cards fell out. We didn't ask for two. We wanted one. Two major arcana. What Divine Masculine is thinking at this moment in time is that he wants to end that situation that he's stuck in where he's brought pocketers. He wants to take his homosexual ways on the road. Mm -hmm. Wants to come and be a pillock in somebody else's life. The world card is represented by um, Saturn energy. This is about your stability um, your commitment is, is discipline he's experiencing a lot of challenges because of lots of lies and secrets have been revealed the moon card is Pisces energy as well as um, ruling cancer mm -hmm. yes baby you want to end the situation because he's seen the lies the pillars of salt that his kingdom was built on we just saw the sun card flash out. Right? He wants a new beginning. Okay, what is this card? What is blocking him? He's still interviewing. <laughs> He's still interviewing with the unsatisfied eyes of a dig dealer. Willing community genitalia to dish out. <laughs> Bebe, bra. He's stuck in that situation, but his eyes are free. Which <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hot, smoking. I'm sweating, squatty. The subterfuge. The drama. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm still at interview, baby. Mm -hmm. he's, he's being a um, bully. He's creating a lot of problems around the sex in the domicile with the karmic. Well, they're both karmics at this, at this moment in time, really. Because if we think about it, he needs to take the D out of his name and just be masculine. Because he definitely has taken the D out of that situation. There's no eggplant in the offering. He 
You can't get it up really because the pentacle is down. Down. So at this moment in time, let's whisper. He's taking it for the gram. Credit me, sir. In the have it. It says, don't be shy. He must get up and do his stuff. Everything is a sign. Mm -hmm. So what kind of outcome is Divine Masculine moving towards? What? What? Please tell us, because we want to know. This one was trying to come around. Baby. We have the lovers. This is Gemini energy in the reverse. This is telling us he wants to break up that situation. He's going to be start creating arguments mm -hmm. and discord because he's regretting the bad choices that he made. Made some really effing awful ones. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. Remember, this is the after tarot day. At this moment in time, Divine Masculine is crying near a river on the inside. Mm -hmm. He wants to break up the situation. He's not offering any form of sexual encounters to the karmic at this moment in time. He's feeling extremely unsatisfied and has stepped up the interviewing with his eyes. Mm -hmm. Let's go straight over to the karmic. No messing about. Baby, they are feeling like the wounded warrior at this moment in time. Mm-hmm. Their overall energy is of um, isolation. Wanting to end the isolation. Feeling extremely paranoid. <laughs> and defensive. Oh, baby. Oh, for God. We need some runes. Let's get some runes out. What's going on? Divine Father, Holy God. Let us have the names, some letters. What do we have here? What do we have here? We have the letter U. This rune is about power. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants the power to find a gateway to get thee gone from Carmedia. Yes, a little guy with a triangle wants to move on. Did you hear that? <laughs> yes, the first letter was the letter U. Let's give it a good mix. Hmm? Make sure I've got the right one. Because there's two that look like the letter P. This one is Thor. This is about regeneration and protection. It also is represented by the letter X. We all know that it's a case of the X's spying. Oh! He's trying to come! You bit! Hold on a minute! Snug, sneak! He's interviewing, right? And has out interviewing non-satisfied eyes on an X. Who could it be? Maybe it better not be around me. I have three go-to moves. Uh-uh. And I am always ready for a rumble. Hey, hey. Not in my parliament. No homosexuals allowed. Deep dealing, community genitalia. The high commander wants to come back. Give me the, get another rune out. What is this? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Making sure. Checking it twice. This is represented by the letter S. This is Sawulu. 
It's representing the sun, the wheel of fortune. They listen, they want to come jump on your bandwagon, my fanushan. Come here, Jess. And Bell. I told you, they are interviewing these dead children of the corn. I Looking for the weak of mind and the bounty full of pocket. <laughs> okay. What's the energy around the karmic at this moment in time? Please tell us. We are interested. Okay. It's a lot of cards turn over. No, I'm not gonna go with it. We saw the King of Cups flash out his face. They wanted calmness and, and to be nurtured. What is this? Nine of Cups in the upright. They want to create another entanglement as they levitate, trying to explain. <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups in the upright. Be a bit done it on a pie. They want peace, harmony, and they're trying their bestest, their bestest to be confident, even though they're feeling really in the background, they feel like the wounded warrior in the reverse. Mm -hmm. No spiritual guidance. They're wanting their wish fulfillment. While, while back on the ranch, can you see these two cards juxtaposing themselves? Nines are about fruition completion and fulfillment one is feeling stuck and the other one is feeling magnanimous <laughs> yes be again i'm going to clarify the cards that i bought out yes they are telling they stepped it up in the subterfuge and the bull swanky of the mind Sprinkling cognitive dissonance at every meal. <laughs> what child? Listen, they are trying to create stress and mental blocks. They're trying to make it hazy. I told you, they stepped up the batch making. They've stepped it up, Scotty. Moon card in reverse. He has it in the upright. She has it. It could be reversed. Divine mass. Listen. Gender is fluid in tarot. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Moon in the reverse. Like I said, beer lines. They're going to lie, lie, and continue to lie. And when they finish that, they're going to lie some more. Yes, baby. They are going to evade all forms of clarity and truth. They, oh, wait a minute, I'm getting, they're, they're going to try and come across like a, like a swami. Yes, they be here, that, they're trying to be young, foolish and happy. They are create, listen, they are mix and a blend. What they can't put in the pot, they are putting in the atmosphere. I told you, they're doing it for the gram. Mm -hmm. The moon card, I, oh, I, did, I may not have said, is Pisces energy. They are creating a big illusion. Mm -hmm. What is this? Their final outcome? We have the hangman in the upright. Why did this want to fall on those cards? G, G, G Willikers! Capricorn energy. Look, the devil just fell on the lies that they're telling and the moon card. Three. Listen, baby. <clears throat> they don't want no recovery. They don't want the relationship to be over the situation that they're in. There's a lot of addictions. This could be like... I said it's sexual addictions, but he's not offering the eggplant up in that situation the way the karmic wants it. 
they're trying to create a bigger lie and subterfuge, trying to be the wish fulfillment to the divine masculine. But it's not working. He's interviewing. He's very busy. Mm -hmm. And with the outcome as the hangman, in the reverse, I might add, they are extremely selfish. They're feeling as though they, they've, they've adapted um, the cape of a victim. Because they are not getting what they're wishing from the situation. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clarify each roll with each other's cards. Yes, be a bit. I'll only clarify the reversals because we, we, we got things to do. Can't spend too much time in Carmedia with the dabs. Why is this nine in the reverse? This one just flipped. Yes, be a bit. Oh, no. The Queen of Swords. He's stuck in a situation and this is what he's portraying. He has the wisdom of his experiencing. He's looking at a situation that has ended because lies and secrets and lies was revealed. We know what that situation was. Uh -huh. Right? A situation that he would like to run back over and give another offer to, I told you. The ex. Whoever was their recent ex. Th that one. Are the one they want. Yeah, be. But this person, right, the, with the arm, um, high priestess in the reverse, is their judgment is clouded and blocked. They have no insight. Mm -hmm. Let's get to his interviewing. Let's get to his interviewing, right? He wants to make an offer to a situation that has, that has come to an end and his completion. He wants to come around and offer a different a different perspective on what happened. He wants to come around with the Jedi mind tricks. He wants to come around with the opium. My hands are shaking. Red card. We're going straight to the red. Stand up, Nay. Mm -hmm. He's still into me. Look, King of Swords. He's into interviewing and planning on deep dealing in other territories where he has no control. He's also wanted to release the control or release a situation that he finds him in, a situation that is stable and very rocky. Because we saw a nine plus four in the reverse, a 13, they had one in the upright. Them nine are money. Jezebel, as I see it's my mocha. In the snow, in the galley. And he's interviewing. He goes, homosexual ways. He wants to bring Paul a Lazarus, become that Mac the Knife in an ex's life. I just rhymed. I'm a poet and didn't know it. Yes, baby. Uh -huh. He wants to go back to a situ release the control, release a situation that he's in because it's a previous situation that he wants to bring the big pen. He hasn't got the big pentacle. Him haven't. Him haven't got it. He's got no structure, no foundation, and no planning. And he dares to want to come and create another entanglement with my Venusian. Let's, let's have a quick look at what this lover's card in the reverse is saying. Where's the deck gone? Even the deck is trying to hide. Why is the lover's card here in the reverse? Beer, beer. What did I say? What did I just say? This procrastinator. This brunt Pakitos does not know how to approach the throne. 
because I told you they're stuck. All of their ideas have been scuppered. This is the word. Look at them. I couldn't even speak. I was struck dumb dead. This is the word. The power of three. Right? Still, Neria one Pentecale looking good in his favor. He's trying to find balance. I told you. He wants to come and balance out on you, my Phoenician. He wants to come and balance on your pocket. With his dab. And look, it's a dirty dab at that. Hey, hey, you want some of that dabation? If you want that dabation, it is just vanity, may I tell you. Vanity. You know what? None of that. You don't. Aye, matey. I have to turn pirate on you now. Aye, matey. You don't. Right? She's gone from the Nine of Cups to the Eight of Cups. Even though she was trying to grab onto this wish fulfillment, there's going to be an ending to this situation. There's no emotion being offered up by the public. Let alone the Divine Masculine. <laughs> the Eight of Cups is represented by um, um, Saturn as well as Pisces energy, a lot of escapism is going on around there. They have a run-in tab with the local drug dealer. Yes, baby. And they are spaying and gossiping and gathering information. Look. Can you see the three in the background? The horde. Look. The horde. That the divine masculine is arm um, interviewing with his unsatisfied eyes <laughs> yes baby mm -hmm. let me just get one card on this maya the lies the dark secrets not being told the addictions unable to break this spell no! they emotional dread listen told you this chicky can know how to whip up a batch quick, fast, and in a hurry. Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Cups is represented by um, um, Pisces energy. There's no happiness in this situation. As well as as well as um Mars energy. Listen, his fatum. She's trying to break his fatum so that he won't go out there. In his chariot of disrespect. <laughs> hey, look. Eight of, eight of Pentacle in her breast. Told you, them brought Pakitos. She hasn't got an idea of where, doesn't know where to start. Look, she's spying on you, right? Right? Trying to send dark darkness your way, but it's all boomeranging back on there. Because what you put out there, you get it back. Right? She's got the arm, um, the hangman in the reverse, be a bit. Right? This person is extremely selfish. And I told you, they're stuck in their victim mentality. They are being, listen, be a bit. They have all the wood they need to go and climb upon. They are martyring themselves in a situation where nobody cares. A fig. Not even, not even a nugget of a thing. Mm -hmm. That's a fuckery going on around there. Look! <laughs> We've got the four of cups. Bebe. She's feeling as though that she's going to have to pour away her forgazy love because the season three again. The horde. The villagers are still there. They are strong in her Feng Shui. The competition is real. Mm -hmm. And it's off balancing them mentally. Very off balancing that situation. Oh! In a situation that should be deaded. They don't want to dead it. They want to hold on. 
Wall on Scotty. Dog! The comic is a gnome. They're not getting what they wanted out of the situation. They thought they was going to have a new beginning, creative idea, building blocks. It was a fake, it was a fake pentacale. It was a fake pentacale that you got. Serves you right. Good. I'm not sorry. Good. That's why you're feeling ungrateful. Right? And wants to come out. Come out of where? Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Let me bring a romance angel up on these clowns because you notice none of the cards touch. There's no communication in that situation. What's going on? What's going on with these two hijots? Listen, I told you there's no flirtation in that situation because he can't get the eggplant up for the garment. Put too much battery acid into that shit. Right? There is no trust in that situation. <laughs> As she whipped up another batch in the kitchen. Right? He doesn't want to release the ex. Your mouth, your name lives in the divine masculine's mouth because he uses that to beat the comic with. Mm -hmm. And the comic doesn't even realize it's red flags. You are being triangulated with somebody who doesn't care. Fool. Attracted to what? Something that can be plucked by anyone. Divine masculine is. Sorry, masculine is anyone's. Let me get FP on this shizney, then I'm out of here. Because I've got better things to do. I had a good laugh, so did you. What's this? I'm trying to escape. Look. They are, this is, this is a situation. They're living in a frenemy situation. Right? These are their confessions. Yes, baby, we hear it all. Don't, we, Divine is advising them, don't give up. Stay in that situation, Karmic. Hey, hey, stay there. Stay there. Mm -hmm. They're not going to meet, reach their Chiron, their point of healing in that situation. What of the Karmic, the um, masculine? Look, he dishing out the bull swanky. Why? Because he don't want to accept the shit pie or the punani that's been offered up in that situation. He don't want a slice. He doesn't want it. It's fake. And he's trying to isolate himself. But this is what he wears to bed at night. A full tuxedo so he can't be interfered with. Mm-hmm. Here come the coin. Where is he going to get the coin from? From a budget. Listen, he can't get that money, honey, from a low budget chicken head. Right? That has no direction. Because it's not a leg up from the divine. He's going in there full on devil energy. Good luck. Good luck for all he encounters. Hey! If you enjoyed this read, please give it a thumbs up. Share these messages with whomsoever you feel needs it. And if you're requiring a personal read from me, all of my information is in the description box below. I am now doing live one-to-one -one readings, either via Zoom or um, Skype. So if you're wanting that one-to-one -one connection, let me know. Please leave comments because all Phoenicians are at different stages of their evolvement and continue to stand in your prosperity my Phoenician and the triple moon and as I always say from the ashes baby namaste